Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with local storage to save data in Ionic Framework. Now this tutorial works for Android and iOS, however I'm on Ubuntu Linux so I am not going to be able to demo the iOS version. I will only be able to demo Android. But if you're on a Mac you can go ahead and use iOS and it will work perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new project on our desktop. Oops, I'm in the simulator. So, all right. With that created, let's go ahead and navigate into the directory and add the Android platform. Alright, now let's go ahead and check out our source code. So navigate to the www directory, then JS for JavaScript, and then app.js, and we're going to edit this file. So let's start by giving our module a name. And then we're going to go ahead and create a controller, which is going to be responsible for handling our logins because in this tutorial I'm just going to do very basic mock-up login type stuff for saving. Alright, with our controller made, let's go ahead and create a few functions here. You know, let's let's keep it extra simple and just say save save data. So if you're familiar with um, HTML5 and Angular JS, then you'll know that we have the opportunity to use local storage to save our data. That works perfectly fine with Ionic Framework and that's actually how I recommend saving your data. So let's go ahead and, and try it out. So just like that, we're able to save uh, the value that we pass into this function into the data item. Now let's go ahead and create another function um, and we'll call this one um, load data. And we're actually going to make this a return value. So with that, with that said and done, let's go ahead and we're going to create a button on our, in our view here. So go back and open up your index.html and we're going to add a button. And so in order to tie this in with our controller, we're going to have, have to add it to our, with an ng controller. Now we can go ahead and make use of the ng click to call our functions. And for demo purposes, let's go, just go ahead and call it some string. Now what's going to happen is every time we click the save data button, it's going to call the save data 
um, function and it's going to store that value which we set to test string into our local storage. So let's go ahead and save it and we're also going to add another button. This one's going to be load data. And this one's going to be responsible for loading it. But we're actually going to make a change to keep things even simpler for this tutorial. Instead of returning it, we're actually going to just display it in an alert. Alright, with that said and done, let's go ahead and test this in a, in a web browser before we compile it on the device. Oh, our buttons are hidden. So we actually had an error that was actually causing our formatting to be off. That's why the padding wasn't working correctly. So inside our app.js, what I had done was I forgot to add the app part in example app. So if I go ahead and, and add that, um, going back in, it, it makes everything look proper in our browser. And then when we click load data, it shows null because we, we haven't saved any data yet. So let's go ahead and save the data. Now when we load data, it loads our test string. Now with that said and done, let's go ahead and compile it on the device. So from your command line, go ahead and type in Ionic build Android. And this will go ahead and, and build it for your Android platform. And if you're on a Mac, you can go ahead and build it for iOS too. It'll work just the same. So with that built, let's go ahead and install it on our simulator here. And then on our simulator, let's go ahead and open it. And again, let's start off by saying load data. Again, we got an alert that's null because we haven't saved anything yet. So let's go ahead and save it. And let's try to load it again it saved it and loaded it just how we expected. So just to confirm, let's go ahead and exit completely out of our app. Now that the app is completely exited out, there's no possibility of um, something saved in memory, in uh, like processing memory. So open up the app and when we go to load the data, of course our test string data is still there because it, it's kind of like um, it saves it as a preference in your Android device. Uh, how it really saves it, I, I, I don't know, but it does save it. And you can go ahead and flush it out and load it and save it. You can do whatever you want, just, just like you would with the local storage for JavaScript. And just like that, we've got um, the ability to save with the local storage in Ionic Framework. If you like this video and are interested in seeing what else I have to offer, please subscribe to my channel as well as my written web blog. Thank you.